supposed to make it more like a newer shingle. Um, so we're gonna shoot this set that doesn't have any of that coating on it, and then we're gonna shoot that set, the same shingle, same age. We'll try to shoot the same location with shingles, and we'll see if that one does better. I'm actually really curious about this anyway. This is really exciting. We're gonna shoot this at about 200 miles an hour. Three, two, fire. Oh, there we go, that's, that's some stuff. Oh, okay. yeah. What's that white stuff? So those, those threads are the fiberglass mat uh, that has been exposed. The fact that it is exposed, this would be considered functional damage either way. This would be considered damaged. All right, let's take a look at the second hit on that one then. This indentation is smaller than that one back there was. Significantly. All right, let's lift it up, man. That's that's really impressive. <clears throat> There's definitely a bruise. That's the nanoparticle. They are like connecting everything together. So everything stick together. That's why you don't have that much loss of granules. I'm seeing it. It's not refutable. We definitely blasted the crap out of it from yeah. a scientific standpoint. The crap out of it. Um, this one had a break all the way through. So we did have a dent in it, but no breaks all the way through. We didn't see any fiberglass in it. You call it bruised. So you know the fiberglass mesh inside has broken. We just can't visibly see it from the surface. Uh, I'm impressed. One coat. I'm surprised. Yeah. Or liquid, right? It's just that we apply a liquid on top and it's doing that. I mean, yeah. I mean, every time I hear someone say nanoparticles, it just sounds like bullshit. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it is the proof. Thank you for letting me. This is cool.